Well, we start with the initial cube. Actually, we don't need any more. We should divide and happily the modifier. Please forget Blender Cycles. Internal render is used for this. Then we can work to Cycles. Ok, we create an ultimate and what is very important, this must be an intermediate red tone. This is the picture, so we will paint the simulated reliefs. Now what we will do is add a new material. Nice. And we created a texture. In this case we call BAM Map Painting. Then we add the image that we created. OK. Change this to UV map. We remove the color because it is not going to serve us. We change to material view, but we want to simulate the geometry. Well, the material is now ready. OK. Go to edit mode and with all selected, press the U key and click the smart and grab. Great, in this time we can start to paint. Here we have to select our grey image. Nice. Now we go to tools and we begin to paint. It is very useful to learn to manage well the curve because there can be many variations especially for different wrinkles, skin marks, pores, grains and more. According to Life of Dark, the surface is changed. In this case, this is a darker color, the holes are appearing. Ok, if we change to lighter color, reliefs are made. Ok. Now we touch the curve for change the result. Well, now what we're going to do is expand these pores. For this, we touch the data. We increase, and we see how our brands are distributed through space. Nice. Now let's make pore. So, we decrease the color intensity. Ok, it works. We go to scatter the pores because they uh, are too close together. And lower the intensity. Great, the result is a rat skin texture that could be a man in his 50s, for example. Down on the image, you can see the light and dark that we are painting. In this moment what we're going to make are the skin wrinkles. Down jitter again, a little more, and we see that it works. Ok, nice. Don't forget to pay attention to the curve. To smooth to the edges, we can use the smear brush. This is a very important step, because it allows us to get more realism. So good. Uh, as you can see, this looks much uh, better. Well, basically, this is a technique. Here we can see this technique applied to one of my jobs. In this case, I am painting the texture of dark cycles. This is a job that takes time, ok, need work hours. As you can see, beside green crest we have pores, and well, we can use image texture as max, but I prefer to use the brushes that Blender offer. 
I must say that this system can achieve texture results like any other but with the advantage that you can see in real time the reliefs and this is very fast. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe and share. See you in the next tutorial.